Okay, here's our ninth and final video on outcome M3, surface area and volume. This is going to just deal with part of section 1.7. This deals with the volume of composite objects. Okay, we're only going to do one example. Find the volume of the following object. Okay, now to do a composite object volume, it's actually just using the things that we've already seen. We're going to find the volume of each part of the object. So here I can really identify two sections here. There is a hemisphere over here, okay, in red. And there is a cylinder uh, on the bottom. So let's deal with the hemisphere first. The volume for the hemisphere is equal to, well, we have to look that formula up. A sphere is 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. And it's a hemisphere, so we have to divide this by 2. Okay, so that gives me 4 thirds times pi times 9.2 cubed. All that divided by 2. And that works out to some kind of number. And if you type all of that into your calculator, you should get 1,631 cubic inches, rounding up. Okay, next, in blue here, we're going to look at the cylinder. Well, the cylinder is just a right prism, right? I have a base area, and I'll multiply that by a height. In general, the definition of volume is base area times height. So my base area is just a circle. That's pi r squared, and the radius is 9.2. And the height of this object is 24 inches. Okay, so we type all that into our calculator, and that's pi times 9.2 squared times 24, and that works out to 6,380 two cubic inches by rounding up as well. Okay, so we've got, two, if you can read what I wrote, we've got two amounts now. Okay, we can just add it up and get a total volume for the entire object. We just add these two things. So 1631 plus 6,382, and that gives us approximately 8,000 and 13 cubic inches. Now there is a bit of an error in that final answer because I rounded both of these interim steps. I recommend against rounding interim steps because there may in fact be an error in my final answer. Why don't you check the work that I've done and see what exactly my final answer should be and see if my rounding has caused an error.